Hello and welcome. New term or semester has started and we are back to conducting online classes. Many options are available to us uh, to conduct online classes such as Zoom, Cisco Webex, Jitsi or also known as JID.SI that's the actual URL of it which is a completely open source browser based communication tool or video conferencing tool. I might make a video about it at a later point of time. That's quite interesting one. Microsoft Teams and Google Meet. One of the main issue that we face is sending multiple emails to our students or any other faculty members that we wish to invite to the lecture. Right? And that creates a email dump in our outbox and in the receivers of the students inbox. Right? So as to declutter that, we are going to see how do we use Google Classroom along with Google Meet to resolve that issue? Let's see. So as you can see, I already have my Google Classroom open over here and I have already three different classes created over here. Fine. I've already set up the Google Meet thing that I'm talking about. I'll be showing you a bit about that in a moment. But before that, how do you create it from scratch? Click over here, create class. That will open up this pop-up dialog box. Give it a class name. So we are going to give it a name of classroom plus meet demo. That is for our purpose right now. Give you have if you have multiple sections A, B, and C, or so on and so forth, you can give a name to the section so that you as a faculty and, you, and the students themselves have an idea that this classroom is for which section or division or however you be your nomenclature click on create give it a moment or two it takes a bit of a time to create the class and then you can have the classroom ready all right there you are the thing that we are going to look majorly into is generate meet link so here we have Click on that, read what it says. With Meet video meetings, you can connect with students for distance learning. You can manage Meet in your class settings. Click on generate Meet link. There you are. Your Meet link is now generated, right? And save. And yes, you, have, you wish to keep it visible to students. And then click on save. So now, what is available to you is a direct link to the Google Meet, right? If you click on over here, it'll open up in a new tab, the Google Meet directly from your Google Classroom, right? We'll look into that, but have a look over here. This URL that you are going to see is meet.google.com slash lookup slash some random integers or some random string actually, which is quite different from your regular meet link, which is an 11 character link uh, separated by dashes, right? So what you have over here, this DV3CCUUZSE is called the nickname for Google Meet for this specific classroom. Now you do not need to share this Google Meet link with anyone. All you have to do is invite your students and the faculty members that, that you wish to have in this classroom and once they are in all you have to do is depending on your lecture time click on this link it will open the things up in a new window a google meet in a new window itself as you can see no one is here but this is the nickname that we saw from the previous tab, as you can see over here. It's the same nickname, right? You have the same nickname for the Google Meet present over here, but the Meet link that is actually the Meet link is quite different. That is your actual Meet link, but you do not refer it to by a Meet link anymore. You, all you have to do is refer it by the nickname, right? So I'm going to join now. And I will show you how can a student or any other faculty, if you wish to join from your mobile phone, how do you do that? All right. So let's turn on the mobile phone. 
right so i already have classroom present in my, on my mobile phone as you can see over here i click on the classroom and the classroom is still not added just let me refresh it over here uh, there i have classroom plus meet demo the one that we created just moments ago right enter that from your mobile phone over here you cannot see that meet nickname that we could see on the browser over here right it's sorry that you could see on the browser over here it's the same class that we have but you cannot see that meet nickname so what you're going to do is if that meet option is enabled you will have this video symbol over here or this camera symbol over here click on that that will directly open google meet on your mobile phone with the associated email id right and take you to that same call that is already happening right join meet so there i am i am right now i'm using my same id from both the different places but what did i do did i have to enter the whole meet id string no, I did not. All I had to do was go to Google Classroom, click on the Meet link over here if you're going via browser, or click on the Meet link that you had over here, with the camera option that you had over here on the screen. Once you do that, you or your students can directly enter into that Google Meet that you have already set up, which I am already set up over here. So I'm present from two different locations in the same Google Meet. And if you wish to verify the meet thing, as you can see over here, it's the same information, right? It's the same information that which you can verify on the browser also. And that is how you do a Google Classroom plus meet combo to avoid sending a lot of emails to everyone involved, which will save you yourself a lot of time in composing and sending emails and setting up things via the calendar and so on and so forth. Thank you.